Republican uh, State Senator Mike Oliverio, whose district covers parts of Marion and Montegalia counties, stopped by 12 News Studios today on his way home from the first week of the new legislative session. And 12 News' Jalen Lamp spoke with the senator on a variety of issues that lawmakers will be voting on over the remainder of this session. One of the major topics of discussion being the possibility for capital punishment for possession and distribution of drugs, specifically fentanyl. Here's what Senator Oliverio said on the matter. There's a lot of conversation going on around capital punishment for drug possession. That seems to be uh, a huge thing, specifically fentanyl. Do you believe that this is something that would help with the epidemic that's taking over our state? And what are the chances of this actually passing? I don't know what the chances are, but let me tell you kind of globally what the thinking is in the Senate Republican Caucus. The thought process is, what could we do as a state to make being in the drug business the last place in America you would want to come? That's what we're talking about. How can we pass laws, rules, regulations, procedures, have enforcement such that somebody who wants to sell drugs says, I ain't going to West Virginia. There's too much risk to me personally. And so there's a lot of talk about that. You know, is it time to re-examine the needle exchange program? You know, has it worked? Has it failed? Uh, has it created a point where a drug dealer knows if I hang out around that spot, people are going to show up and get clean needles and want to use the drug products that I'm selling? So all those kinds of things, uh, you know, we're having discussions about what can we do? And, and, and the, the, you know, the fentanyl possession turning into potentially capital punishment um, with a cocktail that includes fentanyl is something that's being discussed. Uh, but I would say bigger than any one of those bills is a discussion of 70,000 Americans are dying a year from fentanyl that's pouring across an open border. Some of it's coming to West Virginia, and we want to try to stop that.